so good morning welcome to the vlog i wanted to switch it up today and instead of doing a day in the life i wanted to do a work week in the life there's a lot of things happening this week a lot of big changes that i'm really excited for and so i wanted to capture it all on video just so i can have something to look back on so it's currently monday and typically i would just be working from home today but i'm going to be heading to the office soon so i can pack up my desk because today is officially my last day working at google in mountain view it's such a big move i spent my entire career working in mountain view basically so pretty much an end of an era for me i just realized there's a stain on my shirt this has been a few months in the making so not really a surprise but the way it has happened has just been so abrupt basically they told me that i have to pack up my stuff today so that they can move it in time and i already have a pretty busy work week this week because i'm also traveling to london lots of things like i said but i'm excited to vlog take you with me and i have one meeting that i'm about to hop on then i'm going to pack up my bag hop on the bus and commute down to mountain view for the very last time Something to make me stay Round and round forever searching For something that I could never get replaced Don't need you to save me But I just really need to be saved I'm just so sick away. Okay, so you're probably wondering why am I leaving Google Mountain View and that's a good question. So it's something that I've been thinking about a lot, literally months, and I talked about it in my last vlog where I was really unhappy with returning to the office and I know that I'm not alone because a lot of you have expressed that you're feeling the same way in the comments of that video and so that was really nice to hear that it resonated with a lot of you. If you haven't seen the last vlog, I talked about how I requested to be fully remote so that I'd be able to work from home all the time and it was denied so that sucks. But I didn't let that stop me. I know that there's a lot of other ways that I can still work and be happy so I wanted to explore those other options. So why would I stay in my current situation if I'm so unhappy, right? Hold on, people are coming. <laughs> As I was saying, I thought about this a lot and honestly, I'm really happy with the decision to leave Mountain View. And just to be clear, I'm still gonna be working here at Google. In fact, I'm still gonna be on the same team and working on the same project because that's something that I really liked about working at Google is the people that I work with and the things that I work on. So I really wanted to prioritize that. But I think what's best for me and my career and what I want to prioritize is, you know, staying on the same team, working with the same people, you know, and it's a very stressful time right now for people looking for jobs. So that's kind of also another reason why I wanted to stay here at Google because of job security, even though, as we all know that job security doesn't really exist anymore. Basically what I want to say is that even though I wasn't able to be fully remote and work from home all the time, which is what I wanted to do, I was still able to find a way to improve my current situation and increase my happiness just by like exploring my options. So even though I'll still be working in an office, I do think the change of scenery will be nice. Also just excited to be working somewhere new and having new surroundings. Really excited about that and I'll talk more about where I'm actually going soon. Is today was kind of an uneventful last day but to be fair it's a monday and very few people are in the office because this all happened kind of last minute i didn't really get a chance to plan like a nice fun last day with my team but it's okay i can always come back down to mountain view anytime so it's not really a big deal to anyone else besides me I am glad I got to say goodbye to a few people in the office that I've known for years, which was really nice. We had lunch together, just talking about life and career. Pretty much every other person has worked at other companies besides Google, so it's really interesting to hear their perspective on work because my only experience has been at Google, so it's all I really know. But I think moving offices will be a good change for me, and I'm personally really excited for the future.
new office reveal. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, carrying the desk shelf from the Monry office to my house, then from my house to the San Francisco office was not an easy task, but I didn't want to leave it up to the movers just because it didn't fit in any of the boxes that they gave me. I just dropped it off at my new desk, which is really exciting. It's actually the only thing at my desk right now because I don't have a monitor and everything that I packed yesterday hasn't arrived yet. So it's a pretty much a bare desk and I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to film where I sit now just because it's a lot less private. But maybe if I come in early enough and no one else is in the office, I'll be able to like show my little area. It's definitely an interesting space, aka like I don't like it as much as I as I do compared to my Desi Mountain View, but I do like the San Francisco office and like working in the city a lot more just in general. But yeah, the big reveal is that I'm working in the San Francisco office now. And if you follow me on Instagram, probably not such a big surprise because I've been posting a lot of my story working from here. I know I haven't really been consistent posting here on YouTube, but I do post pretty frequently on my Instagram story. So if you want more of me, you can follow me there. Since there's really nothing at my desk, I decided that I'm just gonna use this time to familiarize myself with the office and walk around and try to find some nice places to work. Because honestly, like the views here are so amazing. Hopefully I'll include some shots of me working around the office. But other than that, I will check in with you later. Show me life, show me love, make it change. Time is up We can wait for better days But the days won't come Show me life Show me love Show me life Show me love Make a change Time is up We can wait for better days But the days won't come Show me life Show me love This is all we got Show me life Show me love this is how we got. Okay, welcome to Wednesday. I know this week has been going by super fast. Pretty much just been working all day, which is why my desk is a mess. And then I finally had a breakthrough on one of the bugs that I've been working on. So I thought now would be a good time to take a break and catch up with the vlog since I know I haven't really been picking up the camera this week. It feels really nice to take a breath. Monday was my last day in Mountain View, so super sad. Packing up my desk into boxes and like leaving for the last time. Tuesday was a lot of fun. I was at the San Francisco office. It was nice just walking around and exploring and getting familiar with the office and all the amenities and stuff like that. All the really nice places to sit down and work with scenic views was really nice. And then after work yesterday, I got a haircut. So I usually wear a hat or a beanie because I've been trying to grow out my hair. I've just been getting a fade on the sides so that the top will grow out but I don't really know what I want to do with my hair just yet. I think I'm just gonna let it grow out a little bit more and then figure out a style that looks good with my face later on. And then after my haircut, I got home, started packing, which is why my apartment is also super messy. I have my flight tomorrow to London and it's at 4.30, but I wanna get everything done and packed today. So pretty much almost done. I just need to organize everything and make sure it fits in my bag. So I'm not sure if I wanna bring just like one backpack, which is what I have here, or if I wanna bring my luggage. So I feel like in London, it might be easier to travel with a backpack. And I'm only going to be there for a week, so it's not like I'm going to be bringing a bunch of stuff either. So I think the plan for today is uh, finish up work, and then I'm going to finish up packing. And I have a bunch of other stuff on my to-do list that I wanted to get done before I leave. So things like backing up my computer, making sure everything is charged. I have like a whole checklist of stuff. And then tomorrow, I'm actually going to be working from YouTube, which is in San Bruno because it's the closest office to the airport. And that made me just realize that I'm gonna be in four different Google offices this week. Mountain View, San Francisco, San Bruno, and London. So that's exciting. <laughs> now on Friday, I land in London and I'm gonna be heading to my hotel, try and get early check-in. And if not, I'm gonna be hanging out at the office. Not really sure what else I'm gonna be doing on Friday. Uh, I still have to plan that out, but I wanna plan at least one fun thing to look forward to. So stay tuned for that. New update, it is currently 3.45 and I only have about 3,500 steps, so got my walking pads set up. Keep messing up, so I have my walking pads set up, but I'm still doing 10,000 steps every single day. Next month on December 19, it'll be a full 365 days of walking 10,000 steps. I'm going to be doing an updated video, probably called something like 
I walk 10,000 steps every day for a year. <laughs> Sounds really simple and easy, but it's a lot harder than I thought it would be, but also like a lot more life-changing than I thought it would be as well. I also got a whole bunch of IKEA pegboards and like shelves and stuff because I want to update, revamp my desk setup. So I have a lot of videos coming up, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe, like this video, and it really helps. Now let's walk. morning it's currently 6 30. i didn't expect to wake up this early i had an alarm for 7 30 but it's currently blue hour which is kind of cool since i'm already up i figured i might as well just stay up because long flight today and it would be nice if i could just fall asleep this is my first sip of coffee hot <laughs> been up for a little over an hour and a half so i feel like i'm making a lot of good progress so far i've set up my air tags i set my vacation hold i tried to do my credit card travel alerts but i guess you don't have to do that anymore because technology has advanced um backed up my computer which is an important one it's a little bit later now i'm eating a quick breakfast just yogurt flaxseed almonds and a banana today is going by really fast went downstairs because i noticed that i had a package waiting for me i wasn't expecting this today so it's a nice surprise i'm so tempted to unbox it right now but i know i don't have the time so i'm just gonna leave it here and this way i'll have another thing to look forward to when i'm back whispers in my head what you gonna do so take it kiddo Pretty much all set to go. I think I just want to change my shirt. I am going to wear these sweats to the airport because all about that comfy life. And I'm going to be flying business class too, so super comfy. And so now all I got to do is close the windows, shut the blinds, and I'm good to go. Just pulled up to the house. Don't feel like it now. I'ma just lay back and crack this window. Finally made it to the hotel after traveling for over 12 hours total, I think. I'm not really sure how it took me two hours to get from the airport to the hotel when it should have taken only one. But I'm just glad to finally be here. So new plan, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna change. Actually, I'm gonna catch up with the vlog later and I shower and then head to the Google office before it closes. <laughs> Feel like this. 
That was like the best shower I've ever had. The water pressure here is super strong and it was like one of those waterfall type of showers. So finally got dressed. The only thing is I don't know where my Google badge is and <sighs> found it. It was in one of the hidden pockets. from the Google office. Now I'm like super tired and I'm hungry but I don't know what to eat. So I think I'm just gonna check that this power adapter works. I was a little worried at first because the receptionist said that they don't have power adapters for American outlets. I think I see these holes here. Moment of truth score. Let me know what you think about this format. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.